Sun Jian will take the lead. And Yuan Shu shall provide support. We leave before daybreak. Generals, good fortune in battle. Lord Yuan Shu, I am counting on you. Farewell. Common swine. You won't be so smug for long. Thanks to the efforts of Yuan Shao and the Allied forces, the Yellow Turban Rebellion is finally brought to an end. However, a tyrant named Don Xiu utilized it in ensuring confusion to seize power in the rebellion capital and begin a reign of terror. Unable to bear Don Xiu's tyranny any longer, regional leaders from around the land answer call Cao Cao's call to harm and form an army under Yuan Shao in an attempt to overthrow the evil dictator. Yuan Shao and the allied forces slowly close in Don Zhou at the imperial capital of Luoyang. Wow, the evil dictator, it sounds like something... I don't know, some, some, some kind of movie about Hitler. <laughs> oh my god, seriously man. Right, we play enough for Yon Shao so now the beautiful Shan He. Jesus, did I ever play the scene? I, honestly, I don't recall. Oh, yeah, I think I did. On Battle of Monday in June once. I do remember. My god, man. I remember. Like, it was the only battle I played using Shan He. Really. God damn it. That, that's pretty sad. Really. It's pretty, pretty, pretty sad. In fact, that I've never played as Shan He. But well, never. Only one stage. It's probably my second stage I play as Johnny in my during my let's play. <laughs> oh my god! Well, we're gonna use him again. The Ultimate Rebellion. It's a just battle to punish the traitors that ravage this land. All forces march for Sichuan Gate. I mean, no wonder I never used him. You, you literally can play as him in every single faction. So why should I even use him? You can play him on, on Wei, on Yuan Shao, and on Yellow Turbans. So I'm gonna play the same, of course, in the Yellow Turbans. I mean, you can play as him so many times, which is absolutely hilarious, man. <laughs> like really, Zhen Jiao and Zhen Jiao really goes John He and Zhang Liao and John Fei. <laughs> like really, can't believe it. I just can't believe it. So it's absolutely insane. The Jiang Faxu. <laughs> was pretty smart of Koi. I think I didn't equip my horse. Great. I don't recall. Uh, no, I, no, I don't have an horse. I, I, I forgot to equip it. Okay, never mind. Because we don't really need a horse for this stage anyway. Oh well. Even if I send the supplies now, the glory will be all You will not send the supplies convoy now. I don't like how the um, the charge one doesn't even inflict elemental damage. Come on. Oh boy. One. Right, seriously, I do believe it's crazy a faction with Zhang Zhao with all Jan in the in the game. Like, please, Koei, make it again. They we they even had a more junk to the game like Jam Bao <laughs> the actual Jam Bao uh, this one's Jam Fei like really match can you imagine Jam Bao in, in the Ultraman faction yes it's Jam Bao but it's not uh, that Jam Bao Zen Zhao's brother <laughs> can you can you imagine oh my god oh my god that would be absolutely hilarious man like really but there is Jam Fei so. I, I believe this is also where John Fei took the name of his son because he, he joined for a bit in the Yellow Turban faction <laughs> and so he decided to call his son after Jen Bao, Jen, Zhen Zhao's brother, really? Oh my god. I mean, I do understand John Fei being in the Yellow Turbans like a drunk man, sick of all the uprising, sick of all the, the cor I mean, all the corruption. He started an uprising and joined the. Uh, the jungle instead of Liu Bei. It makes more sense. 
it makes more sense because uh, Liu Bei in the end, in Dynasty Wars 8, in the hypothetical root of Liu Bei, he joins uh, Jim, uh, Jim, like, wait, well, Zhen Zhao does join Liu, Liu Bei in the end. So does Zuozi. Zuozi is like a big fanboy of Liu Bei. Uh, yeah, it seems like Liu Bei attracts so many mystics in the end, like, um, Master Water Mirror, which is the one who advised him to look for the Flitting Phoenix and um, the Sleeping Dragon. So, yeah. And we, let's just say, to me, it's like a mystic, Master Water Mirror. So, yeah. Right, he's very crazy. Then, who else? Um, who else? Who else? Yeah, it's Wotzi. The Nipotica Root, uh, Zhen Zhao. It's probably a what if, like, if Zhen Zhao, will Zhen Zhao really support in Liu Bei? Almost probably, yeah, why not? If he lived longer, if Zhen Zhao lived longer, yeah. Right. I wanna defeat Hua Xiong. I'll just wait, because I wanna uh, duel Hua Xiong. For more exp. Like, why not? Why not? Why not facing Washiung in a duel? It's time to duel Washiung. Come on. But I need to wait for Yuansha to say, is there anybody who can defeat Washiung? Any warrior who can defeat Washiung, you know? Who will say that? So, waiting for it to say it. Well, let's not forget about we have to deal with Lubu as well later. Oh, again! Oh my god, I almost forgot, guys. We have to deal with Lubu again. Oh my god, I forgot. I forgot. Alright, let's wait for Yon Shao. Or maybe not, I don't know. I don't know if I should, like, defeat, uh, Washington and Lubu. Just go kill him. Oh no. Not sure. No yeah, we can. Now we can. Are there no warriors here that can defeat Hua Xiong? It's me, John He. The enemy is strong. John He can defeat Hua Xiong. Don't worry. He can defeat Hua Xiong. You wanna take me on? Let us proceed gracefully. Gracefully and basically kill him like nothing. Like, really, man. You kill him like nothing. Honestly. Gracefully with charge 4, charge 3. A jump charge. This is proceeding gracefully. Beautiful. <laughs> there we go. We've done it gracefully. Happy? Why Zhang has been slain? By whom? I, Zhang He, have defeated Hua Zhang. Nice. Invisible nipple. I'm not, I'm not sure Zhang is supposed to have like an invisible nipple. But he does show like his nipple in Dynasty Wars 3. Like, seriously. I don't love Jean He's outfit in Dance 3. I believe he's the best outfit of Jean He ever. Like, honestly. They could not make a better Jean He, honestly. I'm defeating Li Jue. <laughs> if you kill like all the officers, Li Jue will draw. So, no point in going after the supply base. Thank you! Yon Shao removed his moustache. Wow. Yon Shao shaved, uh, shaved before the battle of Ulao Gedi shaved. <laughs> I always could never understand the cutscene with Yon Shao with moustache and then the NPC doesn't have any moustache. It makes no sense, honestly. Honestly, it just makes no sense at all, but it's amazing, really. How, how he shaves his beard all of a sudden. At the battle of Ulao Gedi, he decides to shave. I don't know why he decides to shave. Probably he wanted dirt. His moustache with blood. <laughs> <laughs> this is my guess, maybe. I don't know, man. I mean, his moustache could even keep him warm, considering here it's all snowy and cold. 
So yeah. Oh, he always withdraw the usual. I don't know why. I think he withdraw like if you kill Wash Young, something like that. I will defeat you one day. When? When you got Muso Officer, that's that's when. That's when he's going to defeat me. When he becomes a Muso Officer, which I do hope he, that comes true. Having Legion and Guosi in the game is to me honestly one of my, of my most uh, pop, most requested, most, uh, most top requests to be honest. Having Legion and Guosi into the game. Right, Strike Plus, level 3. Perfect. Now we are ready to defeat Lubu. The All Air Force's first objective is to take out Lo Yang's defenses at Si Gate. After defeating Hua Xiong, Yuan Shao and the others successfully rule Legion's forces and break through the first gate. The Allied forces reach a Hula Gate, the only obstacle left between them and Don Zhou. But guarding the gate is the Mighty Lubu. Will the Allied forces be able to bring an end to the evil reign of Don Zhou? Right, break through the Hula Gate, Evil Lubu, and defeat Don Zhou. Anything else? No? Okay. Right, okay. Let's see what can we do. Not sure, what can we uh, pick? No, not this. Yeah, wind scroll better. I hope Jane can stand uh, um, Lubu. I really hope he can stand Lubu, to be honest. I really hope he can stand him. This is a battle for justice. What? What? Okay, we temporarily join Cow Cow. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> Guys, we, we temporarily join Cow Cow. This is absolutely insane. So why uh, on Sishui Gate? We are on Yuan Shao's side. But here we are on Cow Cow's side. Makes no sense. Guys, it, it makes no sense. Your overconfidence will be your downfall. Archers ready. Shoot all enemies down. Liru, best character. Best character, Liru. Make Liru playable as well. Not just Liru and Wolsey. And definitely a Donjo faction can be born. Donjo. Washiong. Dongbai. We got them. That's perfect for a Donjo faction. But it's not enough. We can have something more. Oh, yes. Liru. Wolsey. And Liru, he strategies Liru, perfect! Not only he strategies, but also his son in love. Liru is also a dungeon son in love, so yeah. It will be perfect, it will be absolutely perfect! I make a dungeon faction, please, Koi, please do, make a dungeon faction. I, I really hope so, they can make a dungeon faction from now on. I will literally cry. When they when they announce an of, an official Donjo faction, oh please do it please do it. Ching Long, I always make fun of this kind of name Ching Long, <laughs> Ching Long shit whatever. Like they have stupid names, this random gay, random NPC gays, nameless NPC gays like really Ching Long gay. Was there such a thing as Hulao Gate? I don't know man. I don't know if there was such a thing really. <clears throat> Enemy officer defeat. We must not fall behind. Boom. Right. Shoot, see, shoot, shwambu, shoot, shoot, bambu game. What, what the hell is this, man? Shwambu, shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> really, man. What is this? Like, what is this? On Dong Ming, Ming Ming Dong. Boop, 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 boop. Ah! Christ. Ah! Really? We must not fall behind. We must not fall behind. We must not fall behind. Na, na, na. Alright, and now let's open Hulao Gate. We don't need a ram, just kill this guard captains, man. Seriously. 
like really waste of time and construction as well honestly there we go see was that hard no wait he there we go. Dun dun dun. And now facing Lubu. Oh, great. Take Dong Zhou's head. Is that who I think it is? It's Lubu. Lubu's come to destroy us. Ooh, hurts. Come on, let's do this. You dare face the mighty Lu Bu. Lu Bu. Let's show you say Lu Bu. Let us proceed gracefully. In before he kills me. How much you bet I was going to kill me? Oh my god. Oh my god! No damage, okay, makes sense. Well, well, well. I, I honestly, guys, like, really, you absolutely need to be like a god. god le in god level form, probably, to beat him in a duel. I mean, if you can stun him, there is no point, honestly, in, in facing him. Like, you need to be, like, honestly, very, very busted to stun Lubu in a duel. Honestly, man, I think he's absolutely... See, like, you cannot stun him. You cannot stun him. I can't stun Lubu. Great. Great. Two red airs. Great. He's absolutely insane. Yes, yeah, scum. He called me scum. Wait, really? Hey guys, there's no point really in me uh, trying to face the Probably I'll try, but honestly, no guarantee I'll survive. No, no guarantees, honestly. I can guarantee anything. I'll probably die, but man, it's absolutely insane. Why, seriously? There we go. <clears throat> Right, there is a Musou plus 10 here. Where is, where is Lubu? Oh, I might kill his bodyguard. Perfect. Killing his bodyguard is the best option, honestly, to stand a chance with him. Because seriously... Unless he will kill my, my own bodyguards. How much you bet? He will kill my bodyguards, most probably. If you get a chance, of course. Oh my god! Oh ho! Come on! I love heavy archers bodyguards, I love it! Best! Oh my god! This charge one is absolutely nightmare. Right, since we got the true muscle, uh, we might as well. No, he ran away! Damn it! Damn it! Oh, what a waste of opportunity! Damn it! Wasting my chance like this is annoying, but whatever. What can we do? Whoop! Really? I need to find my chance. With some luck, I can't start him, honestly. See, like, the archers are really doing a good job. M my archers, of course. Uh, that was my chance. With Jean, is obviously easy. Because he got this boss to move. See? See, like, with Jean, is absolutely insane, man. You do you spawn this charge this charge four and then then go with the range lock range range uh scroll I can 
do this better. See? He's absolutely good at range scroll, guys. Look. Oh, that was nice. There we go. See, with Jane is absolutely good. You see, this is what I mean. Like, you need to be a little bit busted to kill Lubu. But this power up. Oh, no. Come on. That's so fucking unfair. I'm sorry, but... Oh, is he running away? Yeah, he's running away. I can't believe, guys, he's running away, Lubu. <laughs> nice. And even match. How interesting. Why is he running? <laughs> Does that mean I have to face him again? I don't think so. I don't think I have to face him again. Since there is not really any unique stages with um with Yuan Shao's faction, so yeah. You don't have to face him again. I don't recall really. I really don't recall. Unless he doesn't appear Guan Du. Because, yeah, there is the Battle of Guandu. Yep. We're gonna face the Battle of Guandu, guys. Guandu. So, yep. Let us meet again. Please. Let's do it. Alright. Oh, yeah, the, the Battle of Guandu, of course, we're gonna face Cow Cow. And the Battle of Guandu, of course, also appears. Lubu, yep, so we might have the chance uh, for Lubu to appear, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's gonna appear on Lubu's, I mean, on Yuan Shao's stage. I'm not sure if it will. As long as my dream comes to fruition, I can sacrifice a capital city, or two, or three. There we go. <laughs> ha! Shall we dance? Boom! <laughs> Love is in Janhe. When Janhe gets good, he absolutely pull out some good shit like you see before with Lubu. So yeah. Oh great. Yon Sha. Oh, and players Yon Sha story by the way. <laughs> Which I almost forgot. I almost forgot it's because like I'm playing Hulao Gay, so I'm used to I used to play Hulao Good guys because honestly guys um like really uh so used to play Hulao Gay like the stage doesn't really look any different while while you play as Yuan Shao. I wish at least they could make the, this this stage is like different somehow when you play as other factions, you know? Like, wave when shoot, okay, they all look similar, but at least when you play as the others, make it a little bit different. Like, really, I know he's asking, I made mean, a bit too much. But whatever. Oh, don't you know? Oh my god, don't you? Where are you going? Where are you going? You're like the, the wall. Oh, I'm not letting don't you run away, sorry. I'm not. 32 experience, which is not bad. But really, this is what I have to do. Because there's too many troops around. Oh, let's not forget also that genre speed is absolutely good. Man, the, the, the crossbow arches are OP. I might use them more often. And we did it! Ulao Gate is done! Battle Ulao Gate done. What else now? Mm, five! Yes! Level five! That's great! Right. And of course, now fellow words, we done both Yellow Turbans and Ulao Gate. The next stage is probably going to be. Battle of Guandu. So, fellow words, I guess this is everything for now, and I'll catch you guys later. As always, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll check you guys through the next episode. I'll see you guys soon. Take care, fellow words. Bye bye.